Welcome back everybody. Today I'm on the beautiful Merced River, returning with my first YouTube video in a couple months. It's been a busy summer, but I've returned to a good spot for gold as the river seems to get lower and lower every day. With my sluice box in hand, I'm going to do some sampling. So here we go. Hey everybody, it's been a while since I made a video. You know what, I'm just dressed for the river today and I'm here at the Merced River on, you know, somewhere in the middle of it and um, this is an area I come to, I haven't spent a ton of time at, but I just stopped by for a minute the other day and got a really good pan off some bedrock and so I brought my stuff out. What I really like about this part of the river is the access is very easy. And uh, even out here, I see a mask thrown on the ground. Crazy, you know. People come out here on the weekends and trash the river. And from Southern California, having gone to the East Fork, I saw a lot of that. And so maybe some of you guys will comment about how the East Fork's been looking lately. I haven't been there in a few years. Like, f probably four or something. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to get down to the river. I just watched a Two Toes video that he posted today. And uh, he was crevicing, and I'm looking at the river that's extremely low. This very vicious river is so low, and nobody's working it. It's sad. I have the pleasure of living in Mariposa, and so I really have this place to myself. And uh, again, it's sad that we've been trained to not care about gold. But you know what? I'm glad you guys are watching. And I want to just say to all those kids out there, and to the families that have subscribed to my vit to my channel, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you guys last year. I hope I made it uh, last year. Next year, I hope I made an impression on you. I've had all my coffee. I'm all ready to go. I'm all hyped up. Excuse me, and let's do this. Well, hey everybody, I'm out here on the lovely Merced River. You can see behind me. And you know what, I haven't made a video for a while. I've been busy. I had a busy June, July, and August. But I'm back out here. The Merced River is super low. And I've got this place to myself. Look how beautiful it is behind me. And you know what, part of just being out here is enjoying the beauty. We have a major fire. And I'm proud to say it's clear over here. I'm going to spend as much time as I can here getting gold. And um, the river is very low right now. But I got a really good pan off of this area right here. And this is actually some pretty shallow material. I brought my digging bar. And I'm going to try to pop out some of these big rocks. A lot of flood gold here. And, uh, you know, the river is warm. I'm going to see if I can maybe do a little bit of sniping too. But, uh, maybe out in here. But looks like there may be a little pinch there. I'm looking for some shallow bedrock. All right, guys, be back, show you some gold. Well, I spent a little time getting my sluice box set up and I'm sampling this area right here near my sluice box because I'm going to take advantage of how low this river is. The high water marks on this river can get up very high. So this is very low and rare access and uh, I forgot my little scoop. I got one somewhere in the car, but I'm classifying this down to half inch. And then sitting over here, and I just started running some material through the box. Got a nice even flow. Um, let's see if we see any gold in there yet. I'm running real slow right now. Slow and pitchy, but it's the perfect mix of both and it's washing the dirt for this sluice box about as even as you're going to get and anything really big would probably just sit right on this slick plate but uh what i'm looking for right here is some coarse gold plenty of fine gold and i know there's nuggets in here i'm actually pretty this area is a pretty shallow area near bedrock and you see how the box is just chewing that material away perfectly right now. And, uh, yeah, this stuff's pretty hard on the back, though. The shoveling and the bucketing. And then, you know, you really got to be careful on these rocks in the river. It's pretty dangerous. But 
Look at this perfect sluice flow I have right now. Distributing that material perfectly. And uh, I like running my box like this. A little bit slow, but the riffles are not piling up and it allows me to just kind of take a look and see if uh, I'm getting any gold. And so far, I'm not seeing any color. Get rid of some of this. And uh, yeah, so far not seeing any color. That's all right. I'm gonna do a little test run and check out the box. Well, just did a little run there. And I ran probably about a bucket and a half, bucket of material in about three buckets. And I've made this little hole here, which I'm down to actually some decent material. Bedrock isn't too far right here, but I feel like I'm still in some kind of flood material. Pulled out the uh, sluice. And you see there's a lot of heavies in there. You see some gold right up here. Got some, a uh, couple pieces. through the box here back this out and I know that's dried up a little better maybe I can see if there's anything a little bit bigger in here I'm gonna have to go through this but I'm pretty pleased with how the box is catching gold whenever you see it just sitting up here that means there's no way it's getting out those riffles so it's looking pretty good Nice day up here on uh, the Merced River. Well, I'm not going to say that was an especially great run, but what it told me is there's actually a lot of good sized gold on the bedrock if I'm finding pieces like this just in flood layers towards the top of the riverbed. So I uh, cleaned out my sluice box. Here's what we came up with. Not bad. A little bit of color. Like I said, maybe it was about a bucket and a half of material. And not a, I don't even call it a, I'm not super impressed by it, but you see there's some actually pretty coarse gold in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move. That was okay. Um, I'm working a little too hard. This is a rich river and where you wanna be kind of I guess the lesson for this video, which I already knew, is this area is moving really fast in the flood zone, in the, in the flood stage. And what you see here is a lot of the river that is normally underwater, these big pieces and big rocks, towards the high water marks, meaning where the water is flowing a little more slowly. And so I'm gonna actually, this area looks great but I've put a rock on top of this rock here where I'm gonna be digging because this was recently underwater and I'm pulling some really nice packed gravel, muddy stuff out of here. Um, so that'll be my next sample, but I still think that's a little bit fast. I'm gonna do better right where my bucket is, but that's all part of the project. And then I'm gonna make my way up to this gravel bar. I don't know if I'll make it there today. But man, it's a nice day. We have these fires going on up here, but it's pretty clear up here on the Merced River. Well, guys, uh, nice gold, you know. Um, that stuff's cool. I'm looking for a little bit more. All right, let's see what we can find. And you know, a lot of people come here and they go, oh yeah, you always find something, but you don't find much. Well, I just showed you when you get down a couple feet in the river, there is actually some flood gold. But there should be some nuggets in this, some really big stuff, because look at the size of this rock that was deposited here. And what I've been doing is loosening these rocks. And you gotta, one lesson is you gotta have a digging bar. I'd recommend this Pittsburgh bar from Harbor Freight. You know, when I'm traveling, I like to travel light. And I just jimmied this out. It wasn't coming from the side, so I got under it and checked it out. Losing suction. Look at that. That one's from my buddy Slim Stay. So when you 
you can't jimmy this stuff out. Oh, there she goes. And there she went. Be careful not to crush yourself, just like Swiftwater says. And, uh, man, I'm gonna need two hands for this. Got it. And there you go, and that's how you're gonna find gold, guys. It's bigger than just that little tiny stuff. Now this thing's ready to collapse. Still in pretty good. Get all those big rocks out, no point in shoveling them. Let's see what we come up with here. Yeah. There should be some good color. Well, guys, it's Twinkie time. When you're out on the river, it's important to take some sugary stuff, some chocolate, some candy, food, water. But all I got today are some, is one Twinkie. And I'm very close to my car, and I'm not far out of town. 